Hey guys, Jacques here. I'm making some progress on my clock. I uh, just wanted to show a little bit what's going on. I have all the gears and I have the back frame. So first I'm going to sh give you more details about how all the gears come together. And then I will show you how to add the frame from a separate document into the assembly. I'm going to do a build up of the clock in the assembly workbench. So the first gear I'm going to place that's going to be this the drum with the main gear. Then I have this. It will give power to this gear and on the back there will be a ratchet that will power this gear. There's a ratchet because when I want to rewind this gear, there'll be a ratchet here so that I can turn the drum without turning the whole clock here. So this gear will power the hands. This gear will pick up just 36 to a 60 here. Then there'll be a shaft for gum from here to this gear, who will be in the front for the face. There'll be a shaft put in here. And this gear will drive this minute gear here with the minute hands will be on this gear and the hour gear on this. And then there'll be a face in front. That's how the power will come from the drum to the hands. For the escapement, there'll be this middle gear from this to this and then this middle gear will come to this gear the back. The escapement will be on the back. It's not quite finished yet. And here's the escapement coming down. And then the pendulum will be hooked up somewhere up here and swinging down here. So here are all the gears. The drum, ratchet. I think now I um, can build, design the frames. The out the outline for the frame, it's going to be this square. It's going to be 200 by 200 millimeters, so it should fit on most printers. There will be one frame that will come here. The, the two main frames, one will come here and one will come here. And then there will be a partial frame for the escapement that will be all back here. There will be a partial frame for the front of the escapement. will be in front of the main frame. And then there will be a frame that will hold this shaft here. I need to exactly know, figure out where I will put it. Quite happy with how it all comes. And there will be four bolts studs that will come in those four corners to hold all the frames together so it's taking shape taking shape well how to include this frame into this first i'm going to delete this and delete Now I lost the frame. So this is the frame. It's in another document. 
in a body here. So the first thing I'm going to do, I can copy this, select everything, and then I come back into here and I'm going to paste it in here. This is the position it gets because the origin it's this point here. So now I have this it's this one here. I'm going to rename it. Okay, so I'll keep track. Rename. Now I have my back frame in the parts, the, the list of all the parts. But I need to take this body into the model now. First I need to do some LCS, local coordinate system. So I select my frame, have a local a name here, okay, and it's going to want to be set some somewhere. So this gear is going to be the furthest back so I'm going to select this in the frame and I'm going to make it concentric. Okay, now I need to remember what this local coordinate is. LCS 12 in the middle gear. Okay, so now I can import the frame. Select the model, click on that icon, select part to insert, that's the back frame, insert. The local coordinate system in the part is this one, and then I'm going to match it with the middle gear, and that's going to be the coordinate system in the gear. So now I need to rotate this and then you can see it's against the gear. I'm just going to move it a little bit. Come back to the front. Yeah, looks good. Okay. And you can see here that that hole is two millimeters. It's centered with this hole is five millimeters. The, sh the axis, the shaft here will be two millimeters. I need, I need to update that gear. That be coming in the next video. Here is the frame with the gears. Hope you like this video. There'll be more to come. Please like, subscribe, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Thank you for watching. Bye.